Praise the Lord. Um, you know, I was sitting down and was kind of thinking and then my mind started to wander and I started to think about things of my past. Um, found myself thinking about you know, some of the some of the events and the decisions, big decisions I had to make in the past. And I found myself asking the question, what if? And as I asked this question, I started to to be critical of some of the decisions that I made. Started to be uh, very critical of myself, uh, just thinking about what if, you know, things were different. Then I started to get convicted by that um, as I was reminded of of, uh, of the word of God and and what Paul says in the book of Philippians, chapter three, verse 13, where he says, Beloved, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but there's one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead. So Paul is talking about this eternal hope that we have and how looking behind in our past prevents us from straining forward to what's ahead. We, we get paralyzed by our past. And so I started to find that in myself is that how can I strain forward to what's ahead, to what God has for me? And even in the present and what God is doing in my life, when I'm so fixed on what the things uh, in the past. And so, you know, it encouraged me, you know, what I mean, to to strain forward to what is ahead and forget what was in the past. Besides, you know, I can look at my family and it's evidence uh, about the grace of God and how God has provided for me uh, personally, that I am right where he wanted me to be. I married the woman of my dreams. I have three beautiful, beautiful kids that I get to, to serve as their father and I get to serve my wife as her husband. And so God has me exactly where he wants me. So as I processed this, I sat down and said, man, let me write about it. And like always, man, you know, I love poetry. Um, and so um, I, I go by the, the tagline of making art from broken pieces. And so as I wrote, I said, man, whatever flows out, I'm going to write it down. And this is what I have. Life is choice driven. We live and die from the choices we make. So take lessons from the law, God's word. Abiding citizens of heaven, our roads test our faith to make sure when you're not riding with tank on empty but full of the spirit, we pass or we fail. In this rigorous course, we do harm to ourselves, not referring to the syllabus. And experienced drivers, we permit ourselves to drift off the road that was paid for us. That broad road wasn't made for us, yet many are on it. In this fork in the road, I pray you choose wisely because there is no in between. We pass the class when we steer clear of fixing our eyes on what is behind. A rear view lacks clear view of what is ahead. When you're not tales who sonic booms our regrets. Our what if is a threat to progress, a highway to resentment, an enemy to contentment. As if God's steering wheel causes accidents, he breaks our attempts to self-destruct. The seatbelt of protection, the, he's the divine GPS ordaining our direction. Life can be a cruel teacher. First giving us the exam, to teaching us the lesson. We do harm when we question the master. As the author has written our stories before a breath ever filled our lungs each chapter. A journey from misfit to miracle, a portrait of mess to masterpiece. The way the master makes beautiful melodies from broken instruments. He wrote our future with his blood so that it's beautifully read this love story. Loving us to death as I love you to the tomb and back. The seed planted his home in our hearts, the flower of our lives. The sun revived dead petals when he rose, watering us with his grace. We trace our steps to know we are right where he wanted us to be. Parallel parked in the spot he ordained for us. We arrived to the test, unprepared for the journey, yet the student was never meant to be the driver, but the passenger. The passenger of the one who wants to cruise control this vehicle. I pray we surrender the keys. God bless.